Welcome to Law & Property with Dr. Prince Joel, your real estate investment coach. On this channel, we will be learning everything real estate, investment, transaction, due diligence and management. If these interest you, please do well by subscribing and click the notification button below so that the next time I post, you will be notified. Previously on this channel, we discussed documentations in land transactions in Nigeria. Today, we will be discussing gifting of property after death, also known as will. Mm. A lot of you will be thinking will. A lot of people, when they hear will, they get scared. The best thing you do for yourself is to write a will before you demise. People suffer today, families are in pain today because the breadwinner of the family failed to prepare a will. And so we'll be looking at what is a will. A will is the last wish of the deceased. A will is a declaration of how the testator will distribute his assets to the beneficiaries upon his demise. A lot of people find it difficult to comprehend the concept behind will. Today, families are fighting over the properties of the diseased, properties of the breadwinner. Why? Because there was no will. Will is very, very important. Once you write a will, you have solved a generational problem. Once you write a will, you have saved your children, your family, from fighting, from being in anarchy. And that's the importance of a will. In a will, you will find the testator. The testator is the man who is writing the will. The beneficiary is the man who is benefiting from the will. The property that is being distributed is known as the estate. So the testator writes his will, which is his estate, and how his estate will be distributed to the beneficiaries. Who are the beneficiaries? The beneficiaries are the benefactor of the testator. Those who will benefit from those assets that are listed, distributed in that document called the will. And so, for those who are finding it difficult to write will, Please begin to write your will now. Nobody can tell tomorrow. At what age do you write a will? You can write a will once you're an adult. At adulthood, you should be able to write a will. You don't have to wait until death come knocking. You don't have to wait until you're sick. You can write a will and you can renew your will every other year. You can renew your will every five years. You can renew your will every two years, every 10 years, but the importance of writing a will cannot be overemphasized. And so today, I want to charge you to think of writing a will. You will save your family from trouble. You will save your generations from having lawsuits. If you do that, you will be solving great problems. Let's consider essential features of a will. Number one, it must be a written declaration of a person's intention. That means that the intention of the person must be reduced in writing. Example, you own several properties and you're thinking of how to distribute this property. The intention of giving your children, the first one, the one in Victoria Island, the second one, the one in Ibejuleki, the third one, probably the one in a cartoon. You have to put those intentions in writing. One, I give to the first one this, second one this, third one, well written out. Two, the testator must have the testamentary capacity. This simply means that the testator must have a sound mind and must be of adult age. Sound mind also means that though you are sick, it must not affect your mental capacity. If you're sick, 
and it affects your mental capacity, you cannot write a will. You must be of adult age, which is 18 and above. Three, it outlines the disposition of the property of the testator or testatress. Now, testator is a male writing the will. Testatress is a female writing the will. So, it helps you to write out the disposition, how you want the property to be distributed among the children. Whether they're big, they're small, the one that comes first, the one that takes higher, the one that takes lower, the one that oversees all the money, whichever way you want it, it allows you for that disposition. For it is always revocable as long as the testator, testatress is still alive. Testator is a male writing a will, testatress is the female writing the will. As long as either of them is alive, they can revoke the will. They can amend, they can add, they can expand. Anytime they choose, they can add to the will. And adding to a will or amending to a will is known as codicil. Codicil is the document you use in amending a will. You did it five years ago. In the next five years you're doing it, you're not doing what they call codicil. Number five, but not the least, it must be witnessed by at least two persons. Anytime it is being executed, at the point of being executed, it must be witnessed by two persons. The sex is immaterial. Just like I said, writing a will is very important. Do not wait till the critical stage when you're already affected mentally before you start thinking of writing a will. If you've not written your will, what are you waiting for? Pick a biro and a paper. Start writing. Start writing. And of course, if you cannot write, do call an expert to help you. This is where we're going to end today. Remember my books on law and property? They are all simplified. If you need any of them, check the description box below. In case you want to contact me, my details are at the description box below.